Hello, welcome to AutoBot YouTube channel. So today we are going to see how you can compare two different data tables and how you can get the values which is duplicate. And if you don't want to get the duplicate and if you want to get the other values from uh, these two data tables, how we can do that. Okay. So there can be situations like you you may be having two different databases and you will have to compare these two uh, tables and you need to find uh the same uh, values okay so if it is uh, present in both database a and b we need to fetch that rows and we need to do some operations on that particular value okay so there can be situations like that or uh, there can be scenarios like if you have two data tables and if that table is having uh, different values and duplicate values or uh, duplicate values at the and you need to consider only the uh, uh different values okay you don't need to consider the uh, same values okay so there can be situations like this so how you can handle that in ui part okay so that's what we're going to uh, see today for that i have created a uh, sample excel file sample one and uh, sample two okay so let's consider this as a database or you can consider this as some source file okay which you are getting from some application okay so here suppose if the requirement is like here in this particular uh, excel uh, we have seven rows including the header right so total uh, six rows of data is there and you can see the first name last name role country of that particular employee and the gender for that particular person right and uh, in this second uh, excel also we have few data right but the total number of data is only four right uh, and if you check uh, both these excel sheet okay so let me minimize this Okay, so here you can see the uh, first value is auto, the last name is boat, right? And here you can see the first name is auto and the last name is B. Okay, so the, there is some difference in the last name. Okay, and here uh, the uh, uh, second value is Rahul and last name is U and role is automation developer, uh, country India, male. Okay, so this is a duplicate, right? So this uh, row is same as uh, this particular row in the first sample file. Same like that, if we consider great mark DevOps engineer, here also the same, but the country is different, right? In the second uh, source file, uh, the country is Italy, and but here it is a USA. Okay, so this is not a duplicate row. Okay, so uh, like this way, if you need to compare uh, different uh, data sources, and if you get only the same kind of duplicate values from both these different sources, uh, we have to do some data manipulation. Okay, so that's what we are going to check today okay so let's go to ua path i already created a project called dt comparison okay so uh, main is already open so let's go to activities so what is the first step we have to read these uh, excel files right so let me use uh, okay either you can use uh, excel uh, scope or you can use the workbook activity okay so here i am going to use only the read range activity for the workbook let me open the file sample one okay so uh, it should be sheet one right so the sheet is uh, sheet one and uh, the cell value we can remove so it should read the entire data table and what should be the data output it should be dt1 okay you can name it anything and here you can see a variable got generated with the variable type as the data table so same like that we need to do it for the uh, second uh, sample as well that is sample 2 sample 2 and uh, range i'm not giving and here we need to create a, a new variable dt2 okay so you can see uh, we opened both these files we read we read the data inside this set to excel file and we got the output as dt1 and dt2 okay so now what we have to do we need to compare between both these uh, uh, tables okay so for that what we have to do we need to use a assign activity okay assign is an activity is there and first what we are going to do is first we can do the comparison okay so first we are going to do the comparison so uh, comparison and we need to get the same value okay intercept values from both these uh, excel sheet so if we uh, take this uh, to excel sheets we need to get uh, rahul u and uh, 
uh, mean ID, right? Because these two values are duplicates, right? W and mean ID because all these columns are having the same values in both the sample two and the sample. So we need to get uh, those two values. So we can do. Let me name it like uh, intersect. Okay, and we need to create a new data table. So let me get like DT final. Okay, and what we need to do? We need to do the intersection for that dt1 dot we need to convert that to a uh, new a new variable okay so as let me do one thing dt1 dt1 dot as enumerable because we can get each values one by one okay that's why we are converting that to as in your marble dot intersect okay we need to get the intersection between these two uh, different tables so intersection uh, for which table that we need to get the intersection that is dt2 dot we need to convert that as well to uh, enumerable dot as Enumerable. Okay, as enumerable. Okay, then what we have to give? We need to give system dot data dot data row compare. Right? We need to compare both these data rows. Comparer dot default. That's it. So the comparison is done and what we have to do we need to copy that to the data table right to dt final we need to copy that for that copy to data table. that's it okay what is this error okay so here we created a variable and uh, the uh, variable created a string okay so let me change it to data table so that's it and uh, here what we did we uh, first read the dt1 dot as enumerable we are counting one by one and we are doing the intersection uh, with the dt2 table and we are doing the comparison okay so once the comparison is done we are uh, copying that to the data table dt fine okay so that's it so let me write this to an uh, excel file mm, we can use right range activity so let me write it to sheet one and i'm going to name it like a output okay output dot excel ss okay so that's it and uh, starting with a1 that is fine and here what should be the value it should be uh, dt final okay so let me execute this okay so we have to close these files it is throwing the error because it's uh, already open these files are open okay so let me close this execute again okay so the execution got completed and uh, a new file should have generated okay output dot xlss so let me go to the folder let me open that here the name is uh, okay i gave it like uh, what is the file name okay okay output and here what happened okay uh, rahul you automation uh, mail it took only this uh, rahul you so let me check why it took only the first uh, only uh, rahul you okay so what i'm going to do is here we can add a header okay and let me change the file name to output there was a spelling mistake so output and uh, let me delete this file let me re-execute okay so a new file got generated and uh, we have rahul u automation india me 
okay so let let us check the other uh, values as well so here we have given uh, here we have given mina d techcom lead russia and here it is christina d uh, tech lead russia female right so that's why uh, only rahul you got generated okay for great also there is a difference between the uh, country so let me change this to mina save it okay now try to execute okay so this time it should generate uh, two values it should give two values save it execute okay so the execution will completed and inside the output you will able to see both the values okay so these two rows are uh, available in both the data table okay so in sample one as well as in sample two the same values are uh, present in both these uh, uh, excels okay so that's why it's printing so there can be situations like uh, you need to get the uh, uh, reverse right like currently we uh, took the same value which is present in sample 1 and sample 2 so there can be situation like we don't need to consider the same value and we need to take the reverse of that okay so which all values are not present in uh, sample 1 and sample 2 we just need to take only those values okay so not the duplicate values we need to take so i will show you how you can do that so currently we are writing that here so i'm just copying paste this same uh, assign activity just paste it over here and here you need to make a change okay so currently here do, you are doing the intersection right so instead of that you have to do accept okay so uh, it it will give you all the rows which is not present in uh, sample 2 okay so it will be doing a comparison between dt1 and dt2 and it will uh, print all the values which are not present in both the uh, data tables okay so that's it and i'm going to use this read range activity let me paste it over here and i'm going to change the sheet value to sheet 2 okay so in sheet 2 it will print the uh, non-duplicate value and in the first sheet it will uh, print out the uh, duplicate not the duplicate value like the values which are present in both the data tables okay so that's it let me execute again okay so that's it let me open up our output file okay so here you can see a, a new sheet got generated and in this sheet one you can see the values which are present in both the uh, data table dt1 and dt2 and in sheet 2 you will be able to see the values which are not present in dt1 and the values which are present in uh, the uh, dt2 okay so the non occurring values will print out in sheet 2 and uh, the, the same duplicate or the same occurred values in both the uh, excel file will get printed in the sheet 1 okay so hope you are clear about this concept because uh, you will be facing this kind of a comparison uh, while you are uh, doing uh, some uh, data manipulation okay based on some two different sources or if you if you need to do some comparison between two data tables or if you need to do <coughs> some comparison between two uh, data um, bases okay if you want to fetch the data from some table from database and if you need to do this kind of comparison you can use this uh, formula for doing that okay so i hope you are clear about this concept and if you find this video useful Please like the video, or please comment your valuable opinions and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So thanks for watching the video. Bye.